हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे वर्किंग एज द असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी वे स्टडीड द स्टैक एंड स्टैक पॉइंटर रजिस्टर ऑफ एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज चेक इट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द स्पेशल फंक्शन रजिस्टर्स ऑफ एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर द स्पेशल फंक्शन रजिस्टर्स और एस एफ आर्स आर प्लेस्ड इन द एड्रेस स्पेस इमिजिएटली अबाउ द वन ट्वेंटी एट बाइट्स ऑफ रैम फ्रॉम एड्रेसेस ए टी एच टू एफ एफ एच नॉट ऑल ऑफ दिज एड्रेसेस आर यूज फॉर एस एफ आर्स द एम टी और अनयूज लोकेशंस कांड बी यूज बाय द प्रोग्रामर बिकॉज इट जनरेट्स अनप्रिडिक्टेबल रिजल्ट दैट मीन्स वी ऑलरेडी लर्न द इंटरनल रैम स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर हेयर इज द डायग्राम फॉर द सेम इज शोन दिस डायग्राम रिप्रेजेंट्स द टोटल वन ट्वेंटी एट बाइट्स ऑफ द इंटरनल रैम अब दिज वन ट्वेंटी एट बाइट्स अनादर वन ट्वेंटी एट बाइट्स आर यूज फॉर द स्पेशल फंक्शन रजिस्टर विच रेंजेस फ्रॉम ए टी एच टू एफ एफ एच but all these 128 bytes are not used by the special function registers generally there are mainly 21 locations which is used for the special function registers the remaining 121 bytes are not used by the programmer because if the programmer used these locations then the unpredictable results may occur hence the programmer always try to avoid these memory locations now let's see the sfrs of 8051 microcontroller here is the memory location is shown or the byte address is shown the sfr name is shown and the bit or byte addressable the information is given here let's see the one by one the memory location ath is reserved for the port p0 the port p0 is byte addressable as well as it is bit addressable register the memory location at1h is used for the sp register we know that sp stands for the stack pointer register the stack pointer register is used to locate the stack of the 8051 microcontroller and one more special thing about the stack pointer register is that after reset it has the value 07h in it okay now our next registers are dph and dpl are used memory locations 83h and 82h these two registers are the dptr register we know that dptr stands for data pointer register and it is a 16 bit register but our 8051 cpu is works on 8 bit hence these 16 bit are divided into two types a high byte and a low byte hence dph stands for data pointer high byte and dpl stands for data pointer low byte now the memory locations 84h 85h 86h are not used the memory location 87h is used for the picon register the picon stands for the power control register the power control register is only a byte addressable register the memory location 88h is reserved for the ticon register the ticon stands for timer control register which is bit addressable as well as the byte addressable register the memory location 89h is used for the t mode register the t mode stands for timer mode control register and which is only a byte addressable register 
here is the tl0 tl1 th0 and th1 registers are shown which has the memory locations 8ah 8b 8c 8dh respectively these four registers are used as the timer registers we know that in 8051 microcontroller there are two 16 bit timers timer 0 and timer 1 both are the 16 bits timer but as previously seen the 8051 cpu works on 8 bit hence these timers are divided into two types that means in high byte and in low byte high byte and low byte these four types are shown here th1 stands for timer 1 high byte th0 stands for timer 0 high byte tl1 stands for timer 1 low byte and tl0 stands for timer 0 low byte i hope you understand the things our next sfr is or next address is 90h which is used for port p1 we know that the port all the ports of 8051 microcontroller are byte as well as bit addressable register the next memory location 98h is used for the escon register the escon stands for serial control register and it is a bit addressable as well as the byte addressable register the memory location 99h is used for the sbuf register sbuf stands for the serial buffer register but this sbuf register is only a byte addressable register the bit addressing facility is not available in the sbuf register the next memory location a0h is used for the port p2 port p2 is bit as well as byte addressable register the a8 memory location is used for the ie register ie stands for interrupt enable register which is bit as well as the byte addressable register the memory location b0h is used for port p3 p3 is bit as well as byte addressable register the b8 memory location is used for the ip register ip register is also related with the interrupt register interrupt sources ip means interrupt priority register which is a bit as well as byte addressable register the next memory location D0H is used for the PSW register. We already learned that the PSW stands for Program Status Word Register, and it is bit as well as the byte addressable register. Now the next memory location E0H is the accumulator register, and the F0H is the B register. Both the, the, these registers. are bit as well as the byte addressable register i hope you all you all have the idea about the sfrs the one important thing is here that when we program these registers or when we give instructions to this register then we can write the memory address ath as it is but we cannot write the a0h as it is because here a is a alphabetical letter and the alphabetical letter is not accepted in the assembly language programming hence to programming this address the zero must be written and then whatever the alphabet should be written that means here is the correct way of addressing the a0h okay i hope you understand the things now let's see the reset circuit of 8051 microcontroller we know that the pin number 9 of 8051 microcontroller is a reset pin and it is a active high input pin 
upon applying high pulse to this pin the microcontroller will reset and terminates all the activities we already learned about the reset pin here is the circuit for the reset pin is shown here is the reset button is shown this is used to manually reset the microcontroller and this circuitry is used for to power on reset okay now the next point is the oscillator and clock of 8051 microcontroller we already learned in the previous video that the clock circuitry of 8051 microcontroller we learned that there are mainly two pins for the oscillator circuit XTAL1 and XTAL2 these pins are used to generate a clock for the microcontroller for that purpose a quartz crystal is placed with the two capacitors having value 30 picofarad or 33 picofarad the circuitry is used to generate the clock signal of the 8051 microcontroller the clock signal is also called as the heart of the microcontroller let's see what is mean by the clock and machine cycle and the state of the clock here is a continuous pulse strain is shown or we can also refer as a square wave is shown let's see the diagram here is p2 p1 p2 p1 p2 p1 is written the oscillator frequency f is given here is the state 1 state 2 state 3 is given the machine cycle word is given and address latch enable ALE is given let's see the description about the machine cycle and the state the clock frequency establishes the smallest interval of time within the microcontroller called as pulse time that means this clock frequency establishes the smallest interval of the time which is called as pulse here p1 is called as pulse 1 p2 is called as pulse 2 now the smallest interval of time to execute any instruction sorry the smallest interval of time to execute any instruction is known as machine cycle let's see again the smallest interval of time to execute any instruction is known as machine cycle that means in other words we can also define the machine cycle as the time required to complete the instruction is called as the machine cycle here is the machine cycle is shown this is a one machine cycle the machine cycle is itself made of six states s1 to s6 here is state 1 state 2 state 3 state 4 state 5 state 6 that means the one machine cycle is made up of the six state s1 s2 to up to s6 next the each state consists of two oscillator periods p1 and p2 each state that means this state is consist of the two oscillator periods p1 and p2 each state each state state 2 also contains the two oscillator periods also each state contains the two oscillator periods the 8051 machine cycle takes 12 oscillator periods that means there are 12 pulse p1 p2 there are total 12 pulse in one machine cycle during each machine cycle two ale pulses are generated here is the ale signal is given this is the ale signal and in each machine cycle the two ale pulses are generated i hope you all understand the concept about the oscillator and the clock thank you students